Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Jazzy. And as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to makeup look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and turn on your post notifications so you guys can notify when I upload another video. You guys, I've been so busy with school that I haven't been able to upload recently. Um, I had to do two eight to ten page paper. I had um, two discussion posts to do and I had to respond to four peers so that took a lot um, it was all due within a week span, week time so the papers were due back to back so I didn't get a chance to come up here and you know do a video because education is first and yeah but I'm here now I have time on my hands so I'm able to be back and post I'm glad to be back even though it wasn't like you know long like I normally take but still, like I've said, I wanted to be consistent. Um, I did. Okay, so now I want to come up with a schedule. So I'm thinking either Wednesday and Monday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Saturday. I feel like I'm going to figure it out and I'll definitely like update my channel. I don't know what you call that, like banner um, with the days I will be posting so definitely look out for that um and yeah so this is my go-to makeup look um I went and I did something try to do something with my hair um so yeah tell me what you guys think down below in the comments um and yeah I will see you guys soon so also Comment down in the comments and tell me what you guys would like to see on my channel. Um, yeah. I feel like I look so cute. Like, I don't want to take this off. So I might sit in it for like an hour. Tops. Because if I'm not going out, you guys, I cannot sit in makeup for too long. I'm ready to wipe it off. So like an hour tops. Because I feel like this is a cute little natural look. Like, it's not too much, but it's enough, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like like i look cute like who's telling me what anyways let's just jump into the video and let me show you guys how i achieved this look goody i'm gonna go in with my brown a pomade from the crayon case it's in the shade ebony and then i'm gonna brush up my brows and then i'm gonna use it to outline it y'all i have not been to been to um get my brows done in a minute and I feel like for me personally, when I get my brows done and I do my makeup, like I wait a day. I don't really do it like the day of that I get it done. So like if I'm going on a trip and I know I'm going to do my makeup the next, like when I get there, I'm going to do go do my brows like a day in advance, two days in advance. So it gives my, my brows time to whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to outline my brows, which you guys are going to be seeing me too here. But yeah, I tend to do my brows a day in advance. I feel like one thing for me personally is I'm still like working on my brows. Like, I mean, they look better than when I originally first started doing like my makeup. But obviously, it's always room for improvement and room for growth. So I just really fill in my brows. So. I don't really do too much and then I take my um I just fill it in and if I mess up anywhere or you'll see so right now I'm just filling them in I feel like I'm just rambling like my brows are never the same the only time I can get it close it's close as to being the same is that even the word the only time I can get it close to be the close to being the same i mean close yeah whatever anyways the only time i can get it close to being the same is when i go and i get them done because the person doing my brows she try to like you know get it as close as possible to being the same so when i go and i start doing makeup after i'm able to like you know I realize like I'm not good at multitasking like so bear with me I'm just rambling um 
Yeah, guys, just bear with me, please. So that was my brow pomade. So usually I have, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. So I'm gonna go in with Suede from Pro Concealer. And I'm gonna go in with this Dark Cocoa. So the Suede is gonna go at the bottom of my brows and then the dark cocoa is gonna go at the top, so you'll see. So this is my Morphe brush. I don't know if you guys can see, it's um, M224. So I'm just gonna clean up the bottom of my brows, so. I like to go slow and steady, because before I used to really go fast. Um, And then it's just drag down the concealer. So it's easier for me to blend out. Um, and usually when I blend it out, so I'm just gonna let it sit and I'm gonna continue with this one. Um, I was about to say something and I forgot. That's why I say, y'all, I'm not good at multitasking. Cause what? How I forgot already. Oh, I was gonna say when I blend out my, um, what you call it, my concealer, and if I feel like I need to make any adjustments, I make the adjustment. I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and just blend that out. And see if I need to make any, you know, adjustments or anything. But I still have to conceal the top of my brows. But just, I like to work with my brow, like the top of my brows and my bottom of my brows separate. Like I don't like, I don't like to do them both at the same time. Sometimes I do it both at the same time. But. That's just for like me to speed up the video. I, I kind of do them both at the same time. But me personally, because I want to see like how the bottom lash, the bottom lash, the bottom brows look first. Even though I know they have nothing to do with each other, but it's just a personal preference of mine, I should say. So... I mean, it looks okay. And same thing for this one. And I only do that so I don't have like halo brows where it's like the top of my brows you can tell like it's a different color. So I try to like use a closer, a closer concealer like that's closest to my skin at the top of my brows. Okay, so now that I'm all done with my brows, I'm gonna move on to I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer on my um, eyes, a little bit more, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna um, go in with my setting powder just a little bit and set the concealer. I'm just gonna blend that out. Like so, and like so. And for my setting powder, I'm gonna go in with this chalk dust from the Crayon Case. It's in A. Y'all, I'm always so messy with my setting powder. I just tap off the excess skin. Excess skin. 
excess powder. Side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. No, I don't know what's going on with my brain. Cause I've been, I've been talking a bunch of nonsense, but y'all know what I mean. And if not, I'm correct myself. See, I catch what I'm saying. You catch my drift. Dark, so hopefully the lightning, the light in, light in is better. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know why your girl is tweaking. So, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe palette. And I'm just gonna like find a brown, what you gonna call it, a brown um, eyeshadow. So for the this video, I could go in with, and I'm going with either this or this. Um, I'm probably going with this right here this shade right here and just apply a little bit and just blend that out when i'm going like with more like of um a natural look i really just use like one eyeshadow like that Okay, so now that I'm all set with my eyes, I usually go in with my, what do you call this? My mascara, and then I pop on my lashes. So I'm gonna show you my mascara. I'm just gonna apply some to the top of my lash. So now I'm gonna go in with my duo uh, lash glue. You guys, I love this glue so much because of this little tip thingy right here. It makes it so much easier for you to apply your the lash glue to your lashes. It makes it so much easier, you guys. I don't too dig the blue one. I tried the blue one, but you guys, I ended up squeezing out too much of it on my lash, and yeah. It was just too much and it was real like messy so i feel like like for anyone this is lash glue is really good especially like beginners so yeah get you one <laughs> okay so while i wait for my lashes to dry Am I tweaking? Okay, no, I'm not. Cause I'm like, I just put that one on my lashes. Where'd it go? But I put the lashes on something black, so it kind of blended in. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Master Primer. This apply. like so and i'm just gonna rub it in along with my pure bliss um moisturizer you guys i feel like i look so dark so i apologize hopefully when i'm doing my editing it doesn't look as dark as it looks here pretty not I pray not so I just really spread out my moisturizer all over you guys I have like really dry skin so yeah to make sure I get my moisturizer everywhere. Lashes. And I'm just gonna apply it. So I really start from like the center. 
I feel like once you have it on the center part of it, it's easier for you to like, you know, push down the front and the back. I struggle with my lashes um I prefer the lashes with a thicker band because I personally feel like it's easier for me to apply but right now your girl don't have any of those so gotta make do what she has I definitely have to go and buy some more lashes um and yeah so anyways um I already moisturized and primed my face so I'm gonna move in with my foundation why every time when I'm looking for something, something's looking for me, like, I don't understand. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna go with my Juvia's Face Primer in 230 Malawi. And you guys, I do not use a lot. Literally, I'm gonna show you guys. Literally what I use. literally what I use so I'm just gonna of course blend it out and you want to make sure you get all by your ears you guys all by your ears jawline nose always wipe off your piercings later but you want to make sure you cover every inch of your face like so and then for foundation foundation which is the foundation for conceal I'm gonna go with um, also from Juvia's Place in J11. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, like so. And so, so, and so. You guys, like I said, I don't use a lot. Um, Cause again, I'm going more for a natural look. And so for my contour, I use this foundation stick in Katsina from also from Juvia's Place and I'm gonna need another one soon and I just do like so and so 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 <laughs> and obviously apply some here and here that's a little bit too like far out but I'll fix it soon. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna fix it. Soon. Anyway, so that's how I apply my contour here. And you guys, I tend to blend out my contour first. So I give my concealer time to sit and work in. So when I blend it out, it gives like a more full coverage. But I feel like Juvia's Place concealer foundation is ready for coverage but i just like to let it sit because i feel like it's much easier for me to blend out and it's not too messy personally for me um so i'm just gonna go in with this bronzer brush from elf and i'm just gonna push that up into my skin I'm gonna go with my brush. 
because right now my beauty blender is like soaked so i'm gonna give it some time to dry um and yeah so i got this this brush right here i'm gonna just blend out my concealer like so <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing to the side and like so <laughs> So for my nose part, I like to blend out my um, my contour first. So I'm just gonna like pull it down. Now I'm just gonna blend this my concealer, my concealer out. And I'm gonna go back in with my setting powder from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place from the crayon case. <laughs> and I'm just gonna set the places where I put my concealer. Which is under my eyes. I feel like I prefer to use the um, when I do, you guys, it's so rare that I do um, setting powder, but when I do, I use I like to use the brush because I feel like I can control the amount of setting powder that I use. And I don't really let it sit and bake. Like, I just like to um, apply it and just like press it into my skin. I'm not really like a bake type of girl like I just personally feel like it makes me look much ashier than I like I would like so I just um push it into my skin right away go in with some blush and a little bit of highlight so for blush I'm gonna use this I don't even know I can use I'm gonna use a little bit of this right here I'm not gonna go in with too much so I just me personally I just smile and just apply like that <laughs> and same thing for here before highlight I'm gonna go with this right here shimmer right here you guys I love me a good highlight like so
and I just like to like apply my nose section with like that <laughs> like that was a little bit too much so I take my finger and just like wipe it away if I feel like it's too much like a dark like so <laughs> and of course I like to outline my lips too as well with the black By the way, this is um, Ginger Snap um, Butter Gloss from NYX. Okay, so guys, this is my face. I'm gonna just go quickly and do my hair and I come, when I come right back and then we'll show off the look. forget to like comment and subscribe guys and turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified when i upload another video